Hello, my name is Jerry McCarr, and in this video, I give you an overview of the Intel One API Embry ray tracing kernels. Embry is an open source software library that solves the fundamental computations required for photorealistic rendering by implementing high performance ray and point queries, as well as parallel high quality construction of spatial acceleration structures. Embry targets professional rendering applications and is today widely used in movie productions and commercial rendering software. These images show an example of an Embry accelerated rendering from the Avengers Infinity War movie rendered with V-Ray. Embry achieves high performance by implementing state-of-the-art algorithms, performing effective parallelization, and through manual code vectorization for modern instructions sets. By integrating Embry, customers typically observe speedups in the range of 1.5 to 2x and up to 6x in some cases. Embry is a feature-rich library which supports ray and point queries, multi-segment motion blur, multi-level instancing, as well as various geometric primitives such as different representations for triangle meshes, curves of different flavors, polynomial basis functions, and different types of point geometries. Let's see how easy it is to integrate Embry into your rendering application. First, you need to include the Embry headers and create an Embry device object, which acts as a class factory to create other types of objects. Next, you use create a scene, which is a container for a vector of geometries. After that, you create a triangle mesh geometry and share an application provided vertex and index buffer that define the triangles. Using offsets and strides into these buffers, the application has much freedom in laying out its data buffers. To finalize the triangle mesh construction, the geometry has to get committed using the RTC commit geometry call. The geometry is now constructed, but not yet contained in any scene. Thus, the next step is to attach it to the scene we created previously using the RTC attach geometry by ID call. The user provided geometry ID identifies that geometry and will later get returned in case a triangle of that geometry is hit. Once all geometries have been added to the scene, the scene has to get committed using the RTC commit scene call. During the commit of the scene, the spatial acceleration structures are constructed, thus afterwards, we can trace rays. To trace a ray, just create a ray query and fill out the ray components such as origin and direction and initialize some hit components. Also required is an intersection context. An intersection context is an object that is required for advanced use cases. We just created a default intersection context here. Now you can use the RTC intersect one function to trace the ray through the scene. After tracing the ray, you can check if some geometry got hit and read out potential barycentric hit coordinates and hit distance. If you want to learn more about Embry, please visit the project webpage at embry.org. Thanks for watching.